Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be spray painting the tractor camo because I'm going to be using it as my hunting vehicle, so I need to be, you know, invisible so the deer won't see me coming. But you may notice the tractor's up here. It's a little muddy. I need to wash it, but I've been working it a lot this weekend, tearing down the roof that, or tearing the roof off the shed that it goes under because it's starting to fall in some, so tearing it off. But I need to wash it. But for now, we'll head down to the garage and go get the tractor. Okay, so here's the garage I was talking about we were tearing down. And the reason I'm tearing it down is because over time, a lot of limbs and stuff have fallen on it, like that one right there. And even grass has started growing on top of it. So we're going to, or I'm working on tearing it down. Follow me. I'll take you in here and show you what it looks like on the inside. Some of the tins laying here from where I had to take it off. how muddy it is in here and the mud I was talking about but it makes it really hard to do anything in here but right here okay so right here is where I was talking about this whole back section right here this is a 20 by 60 garage and I'm gonna make it a 20 by 50 because this whole back section here is just whole mess like the back wall and stuff fell and everything and that wall is pretty much done for so i'm gonna close it off about right here this beam close it off put a new wall right here and then it'll be a 50 by 20 instead of 60 by 20 which is still plenty of space but let's go from right here to over there's the wall and that's another reason we're tearing it down is because this back section there's actually a tree that used to be right here you can see some of the roots there. And that's the whole reason why this wall right here is all jacked up. So this is a work in progress, getting it tore down. It's a lot of work, but we'll get there eventually. So now I'm gonna get the tractor and take it back up to the house so it can spray paint. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this out of here with it being really slick and muddy. So we'll see how this goes. I think I slid right into that ladder, so I had to pull back up to try it. Okay, so now I'm going to take off out of here before I get stuck and go up to the house and wash this thing off so we can start painting. right here gets really rough from where all the water has washed down through here lately and caused a ton of ruts. I'm going to try to straddle this rut because I do 
not trust that ledge over there because that's you can't really tell on camera because it's all weak and stuff. But that ledge is really steep and it goes down a long way. Okay, that should be good as far as washing for. I'm not going to get it perfect because all we're going to do is go down there and get it right back muddy again. Because 62 acres of tree farm and it's constantly muddy. It's just not easy to keep the car clean. And plus the paint, even if you do get paint on the dirt and stuff and it falls off, it's going to be getting scratched up anyway. I'm not expecting it to stay perfect, but just wanted to look a little different. So now I'm going to dry it off so I'll have time to paint it. Okay, so I think this will be faster than using a towel, so I'm just gonna blow it off with a leaf blower and try to get it dry. So I went to Walmart, got me several different colors here. So got my base coat. I'm gonna use this as that. Got some black. I'll probably do the base coat and then like spray paint over some leaves and stuff with this. And then we got brown for whatever kind of touch-ups we want to do just here and there. So let's go ahead and get these shaken up and go start spray painting. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the door and see how this goes. I got me a little spray nozzle here I'm gonna try out too. So, well, that is not spraying straight at all. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Okay, so. I'm that's two different colors. Does this actually like spray out a camo color? Because those are two totally different colors. I don't know, but I'll get with y'all whenever I get it more painted. Okay, so here we are. What I actually done was take some leaves. Which I'm going to demonstrate. Right here. Say so this leaf right here. Put this right here. And there you go. That's what I've been doing. But this brown color right here, I'm not a fan of that brown color. I'm going to have to go over that some and try to make that look better because that color is disgusting looking but we're coming along pretty good got this side we'll use this bait coat bait coat like i was talking about this color right here just went over everything and so once i get the rest of the car painted with this color right here i'm going to switch back to this and start switch back to this and start going over the leaves so, spray painting the tracker so far has been a success. Doing spots here and there. And doing some leaf, just sticking a leaf up against it. Spray painting it some. And I would say it's turned out pretty good. For going to Walmart and buying some cans of spray paint, it looks pretty good. This right here, here's a little bit of dark color up it. Anyway, yeah. I would say for just going to Walmart, this looks good. Boom. Okay, so I got the hood pretty much done. And the other side over there. It looks pretty good. I think it turned out good. This right here is all I was doing. Just we will get some tan. Like right here. That doesn't look much good. I'll drop this color. I think this is a black. Yeah, it's brown. Anyway, let's do that. It leaves little marks so it's all done the whole thing with and it's turning out pretty good so now i'm gonna go on to the other side over there and see if i can't get it done i 
kind of get a little bit of a haze on everything, so I don't really want like this shiny. It's a big ant falling on me. I get a good pattern here. Okay, that's pretty good. So, yeah, that's all I've been doing the whole time, just sticking the leaf up against it and trying to make a pattern. I'm gonna run out of paint soon though. Have to go get some more, try to finish it. bit of a haze over all of it. So that's pretty much that's pretty much this part done, the front fender, the hood and stuff. So now I have to spray paint the rest of the car this tan color. And then once I get the rest of the car the tan color I can start spray painting with the leaves and getting the pattern on it. I believe I need a break from this uh, spray paint, so I'm gonna go grab me some pizza right now. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. So I think the total cost of this box itself was $25. So cut into it and see what we got. That's a lot of food. And a lot of bread. See, I'm trying to decide what I want to try first. Okay, so it looks like we have two pepperoni pizzas, breadsticks, and spicy garlic wings. So I'm gonna try the pizza first and see what I think about it. I'm gonna go for this piece right here. It's thick. Well, like kind of like a deep dish, but it's not. It tastes like pizza. I right, forgo. Stop the video. I want to eat. Okay, so the pizza is good. Now I'm gonna try the wings. Go for a small one. It says spicy garlic, but it's not spicy. So they're pretty good. I'm gonna try these breadsticks. I guess I'll have to cut them. Yeah. Parmigiani and tastes like cheesy breadsticks. I believe I've had enough of this pizza here. Um, I don't. This should be like for a party, not a personal meal here. But I think by far my favorite is probably the wings. But I only got like six of them, so I would rather have more wings and less breadsticks because I already have like a whole bakery right here in this one pan. And I needed more chicken. But it is what it is. It was pretty good. For $25, I think it was a steal. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to watch some more of me being myself. Going around, spray paint and stuff. And I also put some uh, seats up there, too. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys next time.